Imagine this, you just spent hours downloading that juicy program only to discover it's locked behind a paywall. Please enter your activation key, it says. What? I don't have one. Meanwhile, somewhere in a dark basement or maybe a very well-lit coffee shop, a hacker is cracking that exact software, laughing as they bypass every security check. How do they do it? Let's dive in. Purely for educational purposes. When you activate software, you're basically showing it your receipt. Some programs send your license key to a server for verification, while others check it with built-in algorithms. Seems airtight, right? Nope. Hackers look at this process like a puzzle begging to be solved. First, they reverse engineer the program. Think of it like peeling back layers of an onion, except this onion speaks computer code. Using tools like disassemblers and debuggers, they analyze the software's inner workings. They search for clues like invalid key or activation required, which point them to the part of the code that handles activation. Once they find it, it's game on. If the software is comparing your key to a stored value, they might just bypass the check entirely. Imagine a program asking, is this key valid? And the hacker rewrites the code to always answer, yes, absolutely. Other times, they go deeper, reverse engineering the algorithm that generates valid keys. They use this to create their own working key, essentially tricking the software into thinking it's legit. Now, developers aren't just sitting there twiddling their thumbs. They use tricks like code obfuscation, making the program look like it's written by a caffeine-fueled madman. But hackers love a challenge and keep finding ways around it. Say you've got a program that asks for an activation key. Behind the scenes, it's not just blindly trusting you, it's using an algorithm. Hackers want to figure out that secret recipe. First, they analyze the software with tools like disassemblers, turning the machine code into assembly language. Imagine opening a cookbook written in ancient hieroglyphs. Cryptic instructions like these tell the hacker where the program is checking and comparing input. For example, let's say the program calculates the activation key by taking the length of your name, multiplying it, and XORing it. The hacker steps through the program in a debugger, like XDBG, watching the values change in real time as they enter a test name and fake key, they'll see something like this. Once they figure this out, they can replicate it in Python or another scripting language. Boom! They've just created a working key. When entered, the software says, yep, that's legit, even though it's not. Hackers can use this method to create key generators, aka Keegans. You know those Keegans that have this song? Yeah, exactly. These flashy little programs can spit out unlimited valid keys, like a vending machine for pirated access. But remember, this kind of wizardry isn't as glamorous as it sounds. It's risky, it's illegal, and it hurts the people who actually build the software. Plus, hackers aren't handing these keys out for free out of the goodness of their hearts. You might end up with malware or worse. So, yeah, it's fascinating, but let's leave the bouncer alone and just buy a legit ticket to the club. All right. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there, and don't forget to join our free community where we dive deeper into hacking techniques and share even more insights. See you there!